Okay. We're on the peanut butter tripod. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. If you haven't been here before, my name is Brianna. If you have been, welcome back. And I'm Catherine. Catherine's joining today. So I'm sure some of you have seen our other channel, Brianna and Catherine. If you haven't yet, go on over and check it out. But today's video is gonna be kind of similar, kind of different. We're currently in downtown Vancouver and we're here for Catherine's sister's birthday slash graduation. I don't want to talk too much in real time in this vlog. So I'm just gonna kind of sit down and either, well right now I'm gonna look through what I recorded and just kind of talk about it. We'll kind of be watching all the clips together. I got this idea from Sweet Simple Vegan and I really like it. So it's gonna be like voiceover, but I'm also gonna be in it. So let me scroll up to the beginning of the day here. So we started our day off by taking a walk on the beach and we picked up some Starbucks tea on the way. You got? Uh, medicine ball, aka honey citrus mint tea. And I forget what I got, so what did I get? The Emperor's, Emperor's Cloud. Emperor's Cloud. It was good, it's kind of like a smoky green tea. The beach was really nice. It was nice and cool out, but not like freezing cold. So yeah, we went on the pier, took a little beach walk. Then we came down here and we checked into our hotel and not long after we went over to a cat cafe my cousin is with us it's like my whole family that's down here and she's really obsessed with cats so she asked if we want to join so we went with her and my sister and it was really cool like i've wanted to go to one for a while but i've never like had the opportunity to or like it wasn't my first thing to jump at necessarily but it was a good excuse to try it out since she was so like desperate to go but i'm really glad we did it was a cool experience Usually they have like actual food because it's a cafe, but since you have to keep your mask on because of COVID, it was obviously just petting the cats, but it was really cool to be with them in their own space and they had a bunch of toys that you could use and <laughs> they were in hammocks and all these different beds and then some of them were really crazy, some were mean, some were nice, so there was a whole bunch of personalities in there. And yeah, it was cool. It was 45 minutes of just petting cats. <laughs> and there was one cat that had her own room because she likes humans, but she doesn't like cats. Her name was Petra. In a room with one cat that only likes people and doesn't like other cats. Her owners returned her because she meowed too much. Oh. That's so, so sad. Special. And her owners gave her up because she meowed too much. Which makes no sense. You're like, literally a getting cat. a cat. Like, what do you expect? It's not gonna be silent the whole time. I don't know, that just makes me sad. I feel bad for Petra. Uh, still scrolling by the cat. Still scrolling by the cats. After the cat cafe, we walked over to Blend's Coffee and I got an iced oat milk latte. So good, I've been waiting for Blend's since last year. And you got... Caramel what? macchiato with soy milk. Yeah, so we love our non-dairy milk. After that, we just were hanging out outside of the hotel a little bit and we ordered, this was before we came back, we placed a DoorDash order for Virtuous Pie. And I had one of their pizzas uh, like two and a half years ago now. It was a Stranger Wings one, but I'm not a fan of blue cheese. And yes, it's an all vegan place. You knew that was coming, didn't you? <laughs> I respect so, it, but I just, if the title says vegan people, it's vegan. Yeah, but I have to clarify for all the new people out there. Vegan blue cheese, and when I was vegetarian, didn't like blue cheese, so I don't know why I got that one. But this time we got, I forget what it was called, but it was like um, vegan sausage and vegan hot honey and cashew cheese and stuff. It was really good. And we got garlic knots too, and they came with vegan a side garlic knots. vegan garlic knots, and it came with a side of <laughs> vegan, vegan ranch. So that was so good. I want to get it again before we go, but there's so many other places to try too. So we're gonna order meat later. You guys will see that later in this video. Um, it hasn't happened yet, <laughs> but so, but it will. And that's where we're at. Room so, tour. Yeah show you guys the room and our view but there's a little bit of construction so there's just like a blue building in front of us covered so just ignore that 
and focus on the mountains in the background because they're pretty. And there's peanut butter tripod. All right, over to the door. So here we got a little shelf. We have a fridge. Nothing too exciting. Here's the fridge and our waters. And then we got a closet. I haven't looked in here yet. Wow, toilet paper. It's gonna be gold again in a couple of months. Typical closet. And there I am. What's up? Bathroom with a bath shower combo. There's Catherine. And again, peanut butter tripod. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. And we got a little snack bar over here. Are we going to eat any of it? Probably not. Uh, we got a little charging station. And at this hotel, they give you a little uh, pack with like gloves and hand sanitizer and stuff. So out here, we have the courtyard. And that kind of looks like chess or checkers. That would be really fun to play like an oversized game of that. Um, there's the blue building I was talking about. Beautiful. Love that. You can go down there. I didn't even realize. Are you freaked out by the cranes, Catherine? Not really. Oh, wow. Fun fact, Catherine doesn't like cranes. They're creepy. <laughs> they are. They're really tall. Uh, so yeah, building. Flag. And we got the mountains. I don't know when I'm gonna get the chance to sit down and talk to you guys next. It's either gonna be in here or back in Catherine's room. We're gonna get ready now because we have dinner at four. You guys will see that coming up in a minute and I'm just gonna do the same thing from here for the rest of the video and it's gonna be the sit down and talk about it. So yeah, but I can't do that without the clips. It hasn't happened yet, so. I'll see you when it happens. Here's our dinner outfits. So we got Catherine, looking very good. Like your shirt. Thanks. And I've been having a crisis because I didn't know what to wear, but I think we finally figured it out. So we got this. Thank you, Catherine, for this because it's saving the day. And your pants. Oh yeah, and my pants. Yeah, this is basically Catherine's outfit, so. so. I had oatmeal for breakfast and I just recorded this whole thing that I'm about to re-record without realizing that I had strawberry stuck right in the middle of my teeth and I just went to put it in my computer and I said this is not happening. So here we are to re-record what I just talked about. Last time you guys saw me, we were heading over to dinner and we ended up walking over there and the walk over there is super pretty. I took some videos of the views for you guys, so I'm sure they're playing now. Um, but the view at that restaurant is literally unbeatable. They're just overlooking the water and there's all the mountains, the sea plains. It's super pretty. If you're ever in this area, I would definitely recommend checking it out. For dinner, Catherine and I ended up splitting a Beyond Burger and it's super cool because they didn't have this on the menu last time I was there, but they do now. And it has both vegan cheese and vegan mayo and the bun is vegan, which was a huge deal for just the whole thing to come vegan as is. So then we ended up just walking around a little bit and later that night, Catherine and I went out by ourselves for a little bit and we ended up down at our favorite vegan restaurant in the city. It's called Meat, and it's spelled M-E-E-T, which is very ironic because it's an all vegan restaurant. So they have three locations, Meat on Main, Meat in Gastown, and Meat in Yaletown. It was really quiet in there, which was nice just with everything going on. I got the Teen Poutine, which is a huge bowl of fries covered with vegan cheese, vegan gravy, and scallions. Catherine got the ginger beefless bowl. Oh, Charlie's back. This is Charlie. He's a good boy. And he probably wants to go back. 
What do you hear? Where do you wanna go? Go ahead. So after meet, we ended up walking back to the hotel, went to bed, and now we are into the next day. At the beginning of the day, we ended up going out for brunch at this place called Honey Salt, and they also had vegan as is items on their menu. So I got the avocado toast and it came with some radish, tomatoes, and it came with like a green juice on the side. So good. The place itself was super pretty and it just had a really nice vibe to it. After that, this was Catherine's sister's birthday. So we ended up walking around a bit. Um, she wanted to do some birthday shopping. So we went into the mall so she could go to the Apple store. And after that, I really, really wanted my vegan donuts that I've been looking forward to forever now. So forever being a year. I got the chocolate glaze, the citrus glaze, and the smoked maple walnut. So good. I'm definitely gonna end up back there when we're back downtown in a couple days. And then Catherine's cousin wanted coffee. So we ended up at a Starbucks reserve and I got a drink that was specific just to the reserves. It was some type of hazelnut latte. I forget exactly what it was, but I got it with oat milk. I would definitely go back for that. And then over the past couple of years, I have become a big fan of trying different coffee shops. So I ended up getting another coffee from a place called Trees. I just got a hot Americano. It wasn't really anything spectacular. And then after that, Catherine and her sister got tattoos, which I didn't get to record because I wasn't allowed in because they were at capacity with all their COVID restrictions. So when they were done, we ended up going to get dinner at a place called Earl's and I got my favorite dish from there, which is the buffalo cauliflower wings. It comes with vegan ranch. So good. I would definitely recommend it even if you're not vegan because Catherine's not and she enjoys it too. That's all I've got from this trip. If you guys enjoyed this style of video, please do let me know in the comments down below because I've had a lot of fun editing it so far and I just think it's fun. And again, shout out to Sweet Simple Vegan for this idea. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you're not already, turn on your post notifications for my next video, which will be very soon. And I'll see you guys in that one.